Hello, and welcome to the Corpus Linguistics Workshop by Dr. Barami Kiewishai. Today, I am going to introduce some basic functions of concordance in NCONG version 3.5.8. So, let's get started. First, load your Corpus text into NCONG. Here, I use some movie review text from Heather Froelich's website. The link is provided below. You will see that the start page of the NCONG software is the concordance function. So, simply type the search word in the box and click start. Now, the concordances of the search words are presented to you. Note that the concordances are sorted based on the default settings. There are three levels of sorting, and each level is represented with different colors. The first level in red is the first word on the right. The second level in green is the second word on the right. And the third level in purple is the third word on the right. You can change the sorting parameters. For example, if you want to change the first level to the first word on the left, then change 1R to 1L and click Sort. Now the concordance lines are sorted according to the new parameter. In addition, as there are 869 concordance lines, there might be too many for you to analyze. You can randomly select concordance lines by adjusting the Show Every End Row option. If we select 20, then every 20th lines are selected, like this. So now, we only have 44 lines to analyze. Furthermore, the length of concordance lines can be adjusted in the search window. You can increase or decrease the size. Let's make it 60. Here, you can see that each line provides you with more context. You can download these concordances for further analysis by clicking on Files and then selecting Save Output. And you can save the outputs in a file. Okay, these are the basic concordance functions in NCONG versions 3.5.8. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Until then, goodbye.